Can I ask you one more super volatile question? Sure. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. I know you are, and I appreciate it. Okay, so we are reading that uh, younger people are having less sex. Yeah. And uh, I've read that you sometimes think that one of the reasons could be because of a lot of talk about toxic masculinity and things like that. You think that actually toxic whiteness too. I mean, this is really this is what's being taught on college campuses as normal and acceptable. And I mean, some of the other reasons potentially why younger people are not having sex is that they're moving out later, so it's harder to have sexy time if sure. your parents are next door. Right. Um, and also, married people have more sex than unmarried people. <laughs> but. <laughs> <laughs> uh, say that again. I want to do a spit take. No. <laughs> But I, when you think about it, I mean, if this is what students are being taught, the men are understandably afraid. I mean, I do not condone sexual violence. Men are violence. afraid because they... Be they're afraid that may Me Too went off the rails, and they're afraid that maybe someone they had consensual sex with might decide... Because they're like the uh, Aziz Ansari thing, that kind of ten thing. Ten years like later, you yeah, had a bad day. Come and out and say that it wasn't consensual. And I think also really? young uh, women... Actual people are like, worried about that? Actual oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. I'm old enough to remember when the sex panic was kids were having too much sex. And now the sex right. panic is kids are having too little. So remember rainbow parties from 15, no. 20 years ago? No, I think Google that... it. It's fascinating. I mean, I... What was uh, it has nothing to do with gay people. Um, <laughs> And it's, you know, one of the things I think is a factor in here is the, the, the availability of porn. There are studies that show oh. that as more porn became available, the, the lie that we were told was, you know, uh, porn is a theory, rape is a practice, and the more porn you watch, the more prone to sexual violence you're going to be, or uh, uh, society is going to be. And it was the opposite. As porn became more available, rates of sexual violence went down, but also perhaps rates of sexual activity. More people are at home jerking no, it than going out and seeking of it. Rates yeah. of sexual activity actually go up. Rates of sexual activity are correlated, so more frequent sex is actually correlated with porn viewing. But I was going to say, if young women are being taught at school that men are, you know, full of to toxic right. masculinity that needs sure. to be cured, what is your dating life going to look like? If you think the men you are dating, if you're straight, if you think they're oppressing you and they're the patriarchy, you know, and they're awful to women. So that's one thing I'm very concerned about. I mean, I used to identify as a feminist. I still believe in equality for men and women, but I don't think we need to denigrate white men. And as an Asian woman, I'm definitely, I don't think we need to be racist towards white people to end sexism and racism.